Well, hi, boys and girls. My name is Frank Gray, and I am Mrs. McKinney's older brother. So if you ever want to know any secrets about your teacher, just let me know. I want to talk to you about a dream that I had a couple years ago. I went on a trip to Africa. It was amazing. Absolutely the trip of a lifetime. But I wasn't just going over there to look at leopards and lions and giraffes and all that kind of amazing stuff. And I saw all those things and I got some amazing pictures. But that's not why I went. I went to see some orphans. I had heard that there were many children in Africa whose parents had passed away from strange diseases and from criminals and other things in Africa that we don't face nearly as badly in America. And sure enough, when I got there, I went from town to village to jungle, and in every place I found children who had no parents. So when I got back to America, I got together with some of my friends and I said, we have to do something about this. So we partnered with some friends that we had met in Africa and they rented a house in a little town called Abim, Uganda. This is a five bedroom house and it's on two acres of land with a big fence around it. So it would be really safe and have lots of room for children to play. And we hired some workers to cook some food and teach the children. And we opened the doors for these kids who did not have parents. And instantly, 50 children came and joined us in our children's home. Remember, we just have five bedrooms. So there's 10 children per bedroom. You might think it's crowded at your house, but trust me, it's a lot more crowded at the For His Glory Children's Home in Abim, Uganda. That children's home has been open now for over a year, and those kids have plumped up. Some of them were so skinny they were starving to death, but now they get three meals a day. Some of them had never been to school a day in their life, but now they're learning to read and write and do arithmetic. Some of them were sick with disease. Some of them had terrible physical deformities that needed surgeries, but we've been able to get these kids the medical care that they need. It makes me so happy. In fact, I I'm probably look like a very old person to you. I don't feel old, but I probably look old to you. But let me say this to you. In all the years of my life, if I think, what have I done that has done good for other people, helping to start this children's home in Uganda is probably at the top of the list. 50 children are now healthy and happy and safe and well cared for when before many of them were in great danger, they were hurting, they were hungry, and a number of them would not even be alive today without that children's home. So if you have a dream in your heart about some good that you want to do for your neighborhood, your community, your city, or for the whole world, then dream that big dream. And as you have opportunity, take action. It won't just change the lives of other people. It will change your life too. Well, that's what I have for you kids. Hope you're having a great day. And remember, dream big dreams.